Hey everybody, on the streets of San Juan Del Rio. Let's not get run over. I thought I'd do a quick one. There's the magazine stand. Things are actually pretty bustling here. Um, as you can see, the streets are hopping. People have been asking me, hey, what's going on down there? What's it like? And I thought I'd do a video. I know I haven't been doing a ton of videos lately and uh, actually trying out the new director's view in the S21 Ultra where we can, we can do both views at the same time. And I think that's pretty cool, great for vlogging and things like that. Stabilization's gotten pretty good. I'm not on the gimbal right now, but uh, let's see what we got. And I can zoom in on this one. We got the tacos on the corner over there. We got Chodrawi, Porcain Chodrawi, Costo Menos. It's a department store, kind of like a Walmart or a Target or something that's uh, pretty big. And uh, people like it. I think they're kind of dorks because they're always enforcing masks and things like that. Uh, people are saying, like, you know, as we look at the world and everybody's always trying to keep promoting, right? The government really doesn't want to give up their their whole thing that they've had going on the past year and their control and their fear and they got people lining up to take uh, the stuff they want to put in their bodies and all that stuff and I'm just like you know leave us alone. Um, some of the tourist towns down here I'm in Corretero State and so in down here Corretero State is a little bit more uh, a little bit more well off a little bit more governmenty than some of the areas in Mexico nothing like the US but I've talked about this before and so they've tried to push the mask thing and stuff particularly in the more touristy towns. Lately, on the streets here, I haven't actually been given too much trouble in terms of most of the restaurants. If you go into malls or something like that, they're still trying to push the mask thing. And it's really annoying me, honestly, because, well, it's annoying. It's always been annoying. But I hate that they're still pushing this and it annoys me a little bit that in the US, I feel like in most areas for you guys in the US, they backed off on it, but I'm sure they're gonna try and come around. They're always trying to come around for another round on their scams and people are always failing to get educated. And I think this is the point to take home is when you have a mindset of faction, when you have a mindset of Republican or Democrat or Libertarian, when you have a mindset of if our team wins, then it's better instead of a mindset of as long as these stupid politicians are running the show, it's not gonna get better. As long as we still say that most police are good, it's not gonna get better. As long as we still say that, that government is important and they protect us and the soldiers are protecting our freedom, it's not gonna get better. And I think that's the biggest problem that you see. And it's not getting better very well because there's not really a change in the mentality. Freedom starts here. And so what I see, for example, with, with the Patriot types, right? They say, they say, well, if, if Republicans get in, if, if Trump gets in, if this person wins, if we can get them out of office, if we can just get a different ruler. The problem is none of these, none of these people are improving anything. And it's the same down here when they have elections. It's the promises, it's literally bread and circuses. They literally have concerts for their elections down here. And then the same crooks win because they buy votes. And hey, there's the panaderia. I just bought some bread there earlier when I was out walking around, fresh, fresh bread. So this is just a little bit in the streets of San Juan del Rio. I wanted to do a quick update with you guys. Some of these places, these guys always bug me for mouth covers if I try and go in here. I just kind of avoid the places that do that. Most of the places are good. They just want your business. People are just trying to avoid getting harassed by government and health officials. And that's been the case through most of this, this whole thing is people just want to survive. And I can't blame anyone cross again. I can't blame anyone for just wanting to survive. And the problem that we see, and to make a point out of this video as I kind of wander around the streets and show you guys what's going on, the problem we see is always the same. If you rely on a false savior, if you rely on a party, on a congressman, on a new president, the Trump supporters did the same thing. And what happened in reality? While, while people are still crying about the elections and the cheating and things and the shady things that always go on in elections, the problem is nothing changed. Trump was still taking your guns. Trump was abusing the Constitution. Trump was abusing the immigrants. Trump was abusing the children. Just like Obama, just like Bush, just like Clinton. It's all the same. And it was all the same 
in the past. It's the same with politicians down here. You have to love your neighbor as yourself. You have to care enough to be able to grow a set and say, you know what? No. And when a group of people do that, then you do well. When a group of people do that, you do well. But when most of the people don't do that, it sucks. And that's just the way it works. This is a cool little tienda. Hola. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? Ah, no, solo me ando. Hablo con mis amigos en Estados Unidos en los videos. Ah. Y, uh, yeah. ¿Acupado aquí o cómo es? No, son videojuegos. Sí, no, mi visitante, mi, mi visitante, ¿puedo ver? Ah, claro. Sí, gracias. All the old school stuff. <laughs> Qué bueno. So, yeah, as you can see, most of the shops don't care about the... The masks, those are cool, look at that. Ah, tienes más de esos, no? Esos son buenos. Sí. Sí. Mmm. ¿Cuántos son esos? A 30. A 30? Ajá. Bueno. Sí. Bueno, dame eso hoy, no? Sí. Dame eso hoy, porfa. Ay. <laughs> Perdón. Let's see, find some money here. There's some money. They got money. So yeah, the little shops are usually pretty good. Just like you're seeing here, no problems. The big stores, the places, and I think we still have some places in the United States where they're doing that too. Aquí está. Gracias, amigo. Hacemos la fotografía de cualquier persona. Sí, es bueno, ¿no? Perfecto. Y tienes la clásicos en la arcades también. <laughs> ¿Eso sirve? Sí. Sí, qué bueno. Mira. La foto de alguien te la hago así. Ah, qué bueno. ¿Tú haces eso? Sí. Ah, qué bueno. Bien Parece trabajo. Pintura, tinta. Sí, es como un canvas, ¿no? Ajá. Qué bueno. Muy bien. Bueno, gracias, jefe. Ver, cuídate mucho. Buenas tardes. Igualmente. So, yeah. It's cool. Most of the shops are fine down here. But there's definitely been, like we've seen across the world, an increased hostility because of all this division, right? One person believes, one person doesn't. And that's caused a massive amount of division and political division. And what's been the end result of that? The end result of that has been the ability to divide people against each other so that they un they align with a faction, be it left, be it right, be it this party or this candidate. The end result is always the same and they're doing it across the world and the technique is not new, it's not different. They're always looking to gain power. And as long as you say, oh, we have to get more Republicans, we have to get more Democrats, as long as you say this candidate will fix it or that candidate will fix it, as long as we keep falling for that propaganda, it won't get better because that's how they keep us divided against each other so we don't divide against them. Okay, that's all for now, guys. I just wanted to chat a minute. Hopefully I covered some points. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.